Zack. Looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. You'll lose sight of what's important if you just rush past it. As an agent of the FBI, I'm sure you know. So many people have got it all wrong. They think speed is the key. That being first is the best. Speed and are satisfied with what the speed brings, even if it means that they miss so much on the way they don't even see that. I see everything that they don't. From here, I see it all. Then, when the time comes, I make use of what I've seen. I can get whatever I want in this way, anything at all. You're certainly talkative today, Harry. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. Speed is not important. Timing is what is important. Timing. York, you have a natural gift for waiting for the correct timing. Just be careful that your haste does not ruin everything. That would be vital to solving the current case at hand. York, I know more than you think, but less than what you hope. One, you have Nick in custody. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, Carol has a locket that belongs to the murderer. I also know that this case revolves around the Red Seeds, <laughs> but that's about it. So you've got an inside line on police information. That reminds me. The victims' tongues were cut out, weren't they? But that's only a minor point. Don't let the shocks blind you to what's more important. That's another business tip. Harry, I'm impressed. You gather information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Amazing. But I didn't come here to hear this. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson instead. Bye. 
place was emitting purple smoke outside. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, for the first time, the bell rang throughout the town. I reacted with fear and left the tower as fast as I could. When I got outside again, the purple fog was spreading. I covered my nose and mouth and ran home. I unconsciously counted the number of times the bell rang. After the twelfth time, the bell did not stop ringing. It rang a loud thirteenth time. story. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil of the town. Even today when it rains, a minute amount is released. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. This town is dirty, York. If what you say is true, then the killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas, then? This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. Soon, they 
about Thomas. I'll tell you one last and very important thing. Just as you suspected, everything I have told you is gibberish. I never hacked into the FBI server. And I certainly know nothing about the Red Seeds. I shall thank you for listening to an old man, Babylon. Let me ask you one thing then, Harry. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But that still does not justify murder. Remember this. Everything changes in form. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. Overlook this fact. York, we found Thomas. Ah, he's at his house, right? How did you know that? Timing, Emily. Good timing. Ugh, whatever, just get in. George is heading over there already. Let's get a move on.